Peggy, 18. Welcome to Chernarus, Survivor. With beautiful valleys and breathtaking views, this was once a popular tourist destination. Now, it's a post-apocalyptic wasteland struck by an unknown epidemic. You are one of the few immune to the virus, but that's where your luck runs out. Washed up along the shore, you must face the harsh and unforgiving open world you now find yourself in with only one goal. Survive as long as possible by any means necessary. With up to 60 other players on the same server, it's only a matter of time before you run into a bandit or two. In Daisy, when you die, you die. Permadeath ensures that when you kick the bucket, you lose everything and respawn back along the coast. A bullet to the head isn't the only danger in Daisy, as the game has a complex set of survival mechanics. Ignore your hunger or thirst long enough and you'll be on your way to an early grave. But take note, consume something of questionable sterility and you may fall sick. Chernarus is big, but finding your way doesn't have to be a shot in the dark. Use maps, signs, tourist trails, compasses, and even the stars to navigate your way around 230 square kilometers of vast and varied landscapes. The rule is, if you can find a town, you can find the loot. Built up areas will have more to scavenge, but they will also have more infected. Stay quiet, stay hidden, stay clear. If you have no choice but to fight, melee combat can offer protection, but you don't need to rely on your fists as any item can be used as an improvised weapon, some more effective than others. If you start bleeding, you will eventually die. So wrap it up. The dynamic weather of Daisy can take a turn for the worse at any moment. So sometimes it's best to stay put and prepare for your travels until the bad weather passes. With the fall of civilization, there is no more light pollution and nights in Chanarus get dark. Use various light sources to keep properly oriented or to strategically mark locations. When interacting with other players, Daisy's in-game voice chat and gestures system lets you easily communicate your friendly intentions. And in Daisy, communication goes a long way. Guns and ammo are rare, and Daisy's authentic mechanics mean you'll have to load your weapons manually, one bullet at a time. Be sure to keep your weapons in good condition. Damaged guns might jam, which can be the difference between life and death. Not all wildlife will try to kill you, however. With various animals roaming the countryside, you can happily live off the land, provided you know how to hunt and cook. Sometimes it's not possible to avoid populated areas. Chanarus is home to numerous hotspots where you can find the best loot, but be warned, you're more likely to come across hostiles in these parts, so prepare for a gunfight. Of course, what's the point of surviving if you have nothing to live for? Once you've mastered scavenging and survival, Daisy opens up and provides a much richer experience full of emotions. Be a lone wolf, team up with friends, learn the lay of the land, fix a car, build a base for your community, raid the bases of others, host your own radio show, negotiate, set up an ambush, take captives, restrain and force feed people, protect fresh spawns, hunt down bandits, or just enjoy the many other types of emergent gameplay Daisy offers. Be a hero, a villain, or anything in between. The choice is yours. This is Daisy. This is your story. See you in Chanarus, Survivor.